Hey, it's your buddy Icarus, back with more Metroid Fusion. Told you I'd finish this on 1%, and I still gotta do that. Unfortunately, I saved over my last save in the previous recording. That was so laggy that I didn't bother uploading it. Luckily, I made a save state just before the boss that, you know, I, was in the, I fought last time. So it's like I'm at the beginning of the, uh, at the end of the previous video I did upload. Joy. Except that I had a little practice on fighting this thing that should not be. This little arborizer. It's actually not that hard of a boss to fight as long as you know I actually pay attention to where it goes and where it's coming from. Which I apparently didn't do. That's where the safe state comes in handy, because it's not a long walk. Not a hard walk. But it's long enough that if I die a lot on this part, because, you know, no health tanks. Hey! Then, it gets very tedious. For those of you watching at home, have to watch me go through something that doesn't challenge me at all. Yeah, it's like two to three seconds, well, more than that, like ten to twenty seconds per failure. So yeah, this time I can, sh this way I can show you all the dying I'm doing without you having to wait for me walking back to where I left off. Yeah. going on. I thought I knew what I was doing. Oh, wait, we're not going here. We're going back to our face day. Yeah, save that little walk. Actually get back to the action. This is stunning. Ow. Me getting hit by a bubble action. Stop that ball. Be with me. No! No. Look, not be with me. Ow. Ow. Okay. We will do this. We will do it nice and make it work. Die. Okay. Ah. I did right. Ow. Never mind! say, if I do this right, we're not even going to let him change the size of the screen at all. Okay. Let's try that again. And again, maybe in. Because we are going to pass that Varia Corax thinger. Fine. Ow. My body is running! Oh. Dude, what? What's wrong with you? Don't do something, somebody! Ow. Ow. Fine. Oh. <laughs> okay. This fight is far too simple for me to be having this much trouble with it. Time to get serious. Glow power is activated. The glow is Glow power is activated. This 
really is the simplest fight in the game. But I mean, the boss is programmed to act as a yo yo. Ow! I kind of pull it in a bad spot, but yeah, it behaves like a yo-yo. It just keeps trying to hit your location and keeps, well, more like a planetary orbit kind of thing. Even within yourself, right? During this fight, you could eventually get him so that he doesn't actually hit you; it just circles around you. Bad spot. Oh dear, this is the worst spot. Falling in the water means death. Because that thing is faster than you and not affected by water. Just figured I'd put that out there. Because I died. In that exact way. What? What about my momentum? Ow! Okay. Try to be smart about this. We can predict where he's going to be. We can. Based on where he was. Like right up there. But not from there, he's going to come down the middle way. No. Oh yeah, that's right. He's still far enough angled above me that he was going to come to the top. in other games. With worse lag than this. Seth can attest to this. He's played World of Warcraft with me when I was suffering from pretty bad lag. Granted, on those I can attribute my success to his health more than my skill. Nope! Tell me you're sorry. Said, tell me you're sorry. <sighs> I would show you the save that I made past this point as evidence that I did in fact make it past this point. But you know, that would prove that I beat it legitly. That just proves that I have a save that's past this point that I could have possibly gotten by way of using some of cheat codes. After all. So there are things the thing you shouldn't use when you're actually trying to beat the game. You just want to replay through your favorite parts of the game? Or if, say, you're more interested in just seeing the story? I should just try to fight it without talking, huh? Huh? But where the fun in that bait? I'm back, you pile of goo! How will you react to I see little orbiters going around you, but my shots go through them normally. Oh, 
there. Go away! At this point, I don't even want that suit that you got, that you got for me. I just want to get rid of you. Go away. Away from me. Turn on it! Why did it not let me finish my jump? <sighs> See, this game is screwy in that you can aim while you're jumping, but it stops your jump if you accidentally aim while you're jumping. Which... How the controls are, how tight they are with your... with using emulator that I'm running. Maybe I need an emulator with worse controls. Come on, come Slightest movement of your thumb on the D-pad will change from you pointing to the side to pointing up. Why am I in the water? Oh, I could have recovered from that if I weren't dumb. Oh, so bad to say that. So, Mr. Yo-Yo Man, Yo-Yo, Yo, Yo, Ha, Yo, Ow, Bad Yo. Bad Yo. I will beat this yo-yo. It's the last thing I do. The last time I did this, it actually, I actually either got lucky or knew what I was doing better than I am now. And I'm probably suffering for having taken a break between the last time I did this and retrying it. Take 53, Icarus versus the Corex. Take 53. No! I need to save my health for the parts of the fight where you squirt. It messed with me too much and I can't dodge. I.e., the part where you're just a little Corex. I think I'd have it by like the third or fourth try, but no. Ow. Hey, fair. I can't go zip zapping all over the screen and hurt you by touching you. Ow! stationary strategy, if you're good enough at predicting where it's coming from, is actually the most reliable way to win this fight. Also, if the game doesn't apply nonsense and have your shots actually blocked by those things, because the whole reason why I'm using charge shots instead of missiles isn't just because I have a small missile supply. It's also because charge shots are supposed to. Supposed to. Always go through that. Ow! You know, maybe I should count how many shots it takes to, to break the thing. Oh, 
five. The large part of my problem here. Six. Seven. Is that I get blindsided by it when it treats it to a little one. Eight. Eight charge shots. No! I did not mean to jump down here! Oh, almost had it. it was red. You guys saw that. I had it knocked to red, but it knocked me in the wall. Oh, it did knock me in the water. I actually jumped down there, didn't I? Didn't I? Only a couple seconds to go. But I already don't remember. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Yes, it is eight shots. Shots until it loses its Varia powers and just turns into a normal Core X. Which in this environment is a pain in the cuter to fight. Five. What? That was not eight shots. You were not shot eight times! I don't want to count! What? Set my save state right here. Right here. Because I was victorious. It only took me. I lost count of tries. Dead Icarus is dead. But there. Now, Varia. I'll even put my mouse on screen just to point at it. Because Varia, the other suit, will give, will give me a nightmare to. Unlock to, in case any of you are wondering. <sighs> Actually, I should probably put my save state after I've collected the suit. Because, you know. Oh, I don't know if it's way up here. Now, unless I get really good at bob jumping. But now with the Briar suit, it's just being frozen by these blue X parasites that still think they can freeze me, so they're still trying to attack me. I can eat them. And yes, I skipped a save point. Because honestly, I shouldn't have made my save state after the fight. I should have made a separate save state after the fight. Because I have to return to that save state because of this recording not coming out for some reason or another. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? Do do do. Okay, so now we need to make my way back to report in, saying, Hi, I got the Bryce suit. I'm resistant to cold now. But getting it was a nightmare. Do you have any more nightmares for me today? Yes? Okay, sounds good. Let's go do that. That thing that I just said that I don't want to do. 
Okay. Of course, now at this point, story-wise, you're pretty well invested in wanting to make sure that SAX that's mimicking you doesn't get off the station. Because seriously, if you care about the well-being of the galaxy, and there's something that mimics you, wasn't there a wall that's breakable break over here? There was, I can't find it. Oh, it's screw it, heck break rule, that's why. We obviously don't have that yet. Oh, bugs! So many bugs! They're all over me, they're in my hair! Get out of my way! Got rid of the bugs. I really didn't have to do that, I know. That was a safe room. There's gonna be another one before I get in danger again. How did that X download the Farayasu data? This doesn't seem to make any sense at all, unless the X... Unless the X have the ability to process data organically. At any rate, you have the Farayasu data now. Now you'll be protected from the extreme temperatures. More importantly, the SAX will no longer be able to freeze you, with, uh, and you so you can escape easier. Yes, because escape's my only option to get stuff thing. Because, you know, now that it can't freeze me, instead of freezing me with one shot, it's gonna kill me with one shot. But you're still too weak. That thing is too much for you. You clearly have no way of damaging it. Even when I get a way of damaging it, I'll be too weak. But my simulation, but my simulations indicate that a penetrating weapon, like the plasma beam, might work. Developing modification data will take HQ some time, though. There's also a chance that you may be able to restore your plasma beam by absorbing a large core X, as you did with the charge beam function. As for restoring ice beam functionality, I doubt it. Your current cellular makeup would reject that addition. Therefore, HQ has developed an ice missile upgrade. This will add a freezing effect to your missiles. It will help. Go to Sector 5, Arc, to download it. Convenient! I'm going to a frozen place to download a frosty missile. Okay. Frosty the missile. Shot all the bad guys, and there are now icicles, and I can climb around on their backs. So, this is the time. I'm going to end this at the Ark save room. That'll bypass both the. Oh, uh, that'll, that'll have both of these navigators talking to the computer segments in this episode so we can start the next one off with action. Preferably not me failing action over and over again like this video started off with. <clears throat> Anyways, computer time. I got a map! You need to download the data for the ice missile upgrade, but as you might expect, the data room here is secured. Level 3 security hatches are yellow. Release the security lock, download the data as usual, and experiment with those new missiles. They will be helpful. Is your district clear? Yes. Yes. Go die from exploding monsters. I don't know. Anyways, that is it for this episode, and I hope you guys had fun. Yeah.